What's up? This is BG, aka Beat Chisel, Chopper City representative, your number one original hot boy. And you're checking out this is 50.com. This reminds me of From Uptown, Venice and Magnolia called Martin Luther King. My daddy got killed when, he, when I was like 12 years old. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas kicked his door and tried to jack him. He won't get it up. You know what I'm saying? They beat him. You know what I'm saying? Then they executed him. You know what I'm saying? So after my daddy got killed, you know what I'm saying? My mama was stuck with two boys and it was like, you know, there wasn't nothing she could do with me. So the streets kind of took me under. Being a class clown, you know what I'm saying? Just fucking around and, 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 and just beating on the desk, you know what I'm saying? Just beating on the desk, talking about the teacher, and, you know what I'm saying? And playing with the girls and, you know what I'm saying? Just fucking off. Like, as I got like older, like 11, 12, I ain't realized being a rapper was what I wanted to do, but Baby had started Cash Money Records. And he felt like, you know what I'm saying, he, at first he, um, our barber stand, cause we off the same block. So our barber stand was like, man, you need to listen to Jesus, man, dude, if he's spitting. So he came in the barber shop one day and I was in the barber shop and he was like, spit something for me, little nigga. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, man. So I spit something for him and he told me to come hop in the car with him. We drove around the corner by my mama house. And um, he told my mama, you know what you got right here? And um, my mom was like, you know, and I already was fucking up, you know what I'm saying? And selling rocks and taking my daddy's social security check. I used to be getting flipping it and shit, you know what I'm saying? So he asked my mom to let him come, let me come stay with her. Let him come, let me come stay with him. You know what I'm saying? And she let me go stay with him. You know what I'm saying? When I got my first gold plaque, and baby was like, man, that ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't did nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't don't get excited about that. You know what I'm saying? He want to, you know, he wanted me to, you know what I'm saying? Stay focused and don't get big. You know what I'm saying? So then when I got my platinum plaque from that same album, you know what I'm saying? He was like, all right, now you showing me something. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you just want to keep in the hand shake. Yeah, 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 that's a goal. That's a goal. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I got my own situation. You know, Juve got his own situation. You know what I'm saying? Wayne Curran is still over there, so it's a lot of paperwork got to be done. A lot of lawyers and managers involved. You know what I'm saying? So, once we get all that straight, you know what I'm saying? We'll be ready for that. I left. After the hurricane, I went to, um, I went to Houston for like a week. But I was like, if I stay in Houston, either I'm gonna get killed or somebody gonna kill me. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I was watching that on TV. It's, it's, it's gonna get real rough because too many niggas I knew was down there. You know what I'm saying? With nothing. All they brought down there was their guns. You know what I'm saying? And so I was like, fuck. You know what I'm saying? And I know they were gonna be looking at me, be looking at me like, you know what I'm saying? What's that in there? But man, fuck these niggas, man. It's New Houston. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how they was rocking. So, I took my family and we went up north, you know what I'm saying, to Detroit. You know what I'm saying? And when I was on the run, back in like 2002, I had one up there. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I had, I had some connects up there. And um, I stayed up there for like nine months. And, 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 and it was like home. Like, it was like New Orleans. When I was about 15, I would have never stopped smelling dope. You know what I'm saying? If I knew it would have, you know, took me down the road, it took me down. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I stopped smelling dope in March 2003, so, you know what I'm saying? But it saying, played a role in my career. You know what I'm saying? So, well, you know, it made me not as creatively, I mean, not as. Had that hustle mentality as I would have had, you know what I'm saying? If I was, you know, just, you know what I'm saying? Sober minded, you know what I'm saying? I stick it to my weed. 
that was the thing in New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? That was like Viagra. You know what I'm saying? Keep your dick hard, you fuck all night. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it started, you know. Well, honestly, it started when one of my little homies got killed. And he used to snort dope. And after his funeral, you know what I'm saying? All of me and my little partners, we was like, man, we're gonna snort a bag for our partner. You know what I'm saying? We got killed or whatever, whatever. And I snorted a bag. And I liked it. All the people who didn't follow me, you know what I'm saying, from day one, who know, you know, what I'm capable of, and, you know, what I do, and, 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 I, and how I come, I'm just being BG, you know what I'm saying, stepping it up and I'm not. BGizzle.com, MySpace backslash BGizzle, and you're checking out thisis50.com. It's good, still getting love in my